Stop the presses. Late last night, there was a huge development for Street Fighter VI Lab Monsters everywhere. A hitbox viewer has been released. And so today I'm going to show you how it's done. So before we get any deeper, yes, this is a PC only thing. Console bros, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. So late last night on Twitter, Wistful Hopes announced that the Hitbox viewer is now available. Shoutouts to her for all the hard work. I'm sure this was a mission to do, but yeah, hey, thanks for putting it out there for all of us to use. So we're going to walk through exactly how to do it. And so the links to everything is going to be in the description. So when you scroll down, boom, you can see. Oh, and also support her work on coffee, buy her a coffee and release the hitbox viewer 1.0. So we're gonna click there, it takes you to the GitHub page. And so what we're gonna do is click and download the RAR file. And it says that we're gonna need the Fluffy Quack mod manager. So you can go to fluffyquack.com and we're gonna download that. And it also says here that you need RE framework. So we're gonna go here to RE Framework, and then we're gonna scroll down and click on Show All, and then we're gonna download the Street Fighter 6.zip file. Okay, so now we're in our downloads folder. So first we're going to extract the Fluffy Quack Mod Manager. Once we have it open, then we're gonna take the Street Fighter 6 zip file and then go back to the mod manager folder and then open up games open up street fighter 6 and then into in the mods folder then we're going to paste the zip in now when we go back to fluffy mod manager then we're going to refresh the mod list after we refresh then the re framework mod shows up and so you just click on that and then we're going to enable that. Now you can see it says copied 18 files. And now we're gonna go back to the folder and then we're going to extract the hitbox viewer RAR file. And then now, okay, so there's the RE framework folder. And then within that inside, then there's the auto run folder. And then inside the auto run folder, there's this display hitboxes.lua file. So what we're gonna need to do is copy this to the folder that Street Fighter 6 is installed in. Go back to Fluffy Quack and then go to options and then define game info and you wanna set game, current game to Street Fighter 6 and then under install path, you'll see when you click it, it shows you the default path to, to the game. That's the default folder. So we're gonna go to C, program files 86, and then in here, you're gonna go to Steam, and then in here, Steam apps, and then common and then street fighter 6 and then in here you see there's the re framework folder and then here's the auto run folder and then we're just gonna paste the hitboxes lua file in there now we can go back to fluffy mod manager and then we should just be able to click launch game all right, that's a good sign. So RE Framework is open right here. And once the game loads, okay, so let's open this up and let's see if, ah, there we go. So you click on script generated UI because remember, this is the script that we loaded in and you can see that everything is checked by default. 
So now, when we go into the game, now we can go into fighting ground and let's load up training mode. <laughs> yes. So if you want to turn them off, you can just turn off whichever ones you want to turn off. So like, for example, if we only want the hitboxes, then you can see that's um, what it would look like. Now let's say we want the hurt boxes, or let's say we just want the push boxes. I'm not quite sure what push, push boxes are. Throw boxes probably indicate like where the throw range is. So for example, you can see like my throw is like barely touching the bottom of the dummy reuse left foot and you can see how we're like this far away sorry i had that in the way we're like this far away so i'm pretty sure if we just move just a little bit closer there we go yeah yep throw hurt boxes what is that throw boxes throw hurt boxes Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure what display throw hurt boxes does, but hey, whatever. I mean, this just came out. I'm sure there'll be updates and maybe there's something that I'm missing. Yeah. Either way, that's how you set it up and get it working. Probably the next thing to do is so you can see the default menu key is insert. I don't have an insert key on this keyboard. So let's see. Ah, we're going to go to configuration and then we're going to set menu key. And I'm just going to set that to the, I'm going to set that to the tilde button. And there we go. So now if I press tilde, then that hides and shows the menu. So I hope that was helpful. And let me know what cool stuff you find with the hitbox viewer and shout outs to wistful hopes for making the hitbox viewer as well as shout outs to fluffy quack for the mod manager and prey dog for making the re framework y'all are amazing anyways thank you so much if this was helpful please hit the like button hit subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when new videos go live you can check out my new book, Street Fighter VI Crash Course. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. See you later. No, you do not need a Kindle to read the book. Street Fighter VI Crash Course. You don't need a Kindle. I have one, but there's a Kindle app on every platform and you can read it in the browser too. And if you don't want anything to do with Amazon, I, I get that too. You can go to gumroad.com slash gutex and you can find it there. EPUB and PDF, because I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing worse than trying to read a PDF on a small screen. EPUB is specifically built to adapt and accommodate to any screen. You know, it's your choice, but I'm telling you. It's a much better experience with the EPUB. If you read regularly, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. This book, Street Fighter 6 Crash Course, if you have the book and you bought it on Amazon, then just keep checking back because in like a week there's going to be an update that adds some more stuff and fixes some of the minor formatting stuff. The the plan is to continue updating it at least until the end of the year, even though it won't get auto sent it's still, I mean, it's still free. So, you know, because you already bought it. Oh, man. Ah.